Hello guys, a new day in Rome. Today it's Colosseum Day. Look forward to this. So let's enjoy this beautiful day. Let's go. Today I will visit one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, the Colosseum. Located in the heart of Rome and built almost 2000 years ago, the Colosseum is a magnificent amphitheater that has stood the test of time. I'm so excited to be here. So I'm here at the Colosseum, the largest amphitheater in the world, built around 80 AD and it could fit around 80,000 people. Can you imagine sitting here in this concrete stone arena, watching epic battles down there on the battlefield? The crowd roaring, we want blood, we want blood. No, probably it would be not like this. I'm not sure, it could have been, but uh, just imagine that would be epic battles. Yeah. I would love to go back in time just to see that. Just one show oh, would be amazing. The Colosseum was used for various forms of entertainment, including gladiatorial games and public spectacles. Despite its violent history, the Colosseum is now a symbol of the enduring strength and resilience of the Roman Empire. As I'm walking here, I can't help but be impressed by the sheer scale of the Colosseum. According to some experts, 400,000 gladiators were killed here inside the Colosseum. Roman gladiators usually were slaves, criminals, or prisoners of war. And did you know that those that were sentenced to death were often thrown here inside the Colosseum to fight without any weapons. So they just had their fist to survive against brutal warriors, animals. So, whoa, really crazy, right? Crazy times. And can you believe that after almost 2000 years, this building is still standing in this condition. Wow, amazing, right? If you think how they build it without any of the modern equipment they have now. <laughs> and still, I think those houses will last longer <laughs> than, than, than most of the houses now will do, to be honest. So yeah, awesome to be here in one of the seven wonders of the world. This beautiful arch from the year 315 AD, very nice. The arch of Constantine is dedicated to Emperor Constantine the Great to commemorate Constantine's victory over Maxentius at the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. The Colosseum is an architectural marvel that has withstood earthquakes, fires and centuries of wear and tear. I see the Colosseum as a testament to the knowledge and talent of the ancient Roman engineers and architects, but the Colosseum is more than just a historical landmark. It is a living reminder of the power of human creativity and innovation. The Colosseum continues to inspire and captivate visitors from all over the world and I feel incredibly fortunate to be here today. Another quick look here at the Arch of Constantine before we can get ready for our dinner. Oh. 
One eternity later. To end our day, we decide to have dinner at Pasta and Corso, a place known for their fresh pasta and extremely delicious carbonara. Despite being not a huge fan of pasta and cheese, I'm quite interested to see how this turns out. Look at this carbonara. It's actually the first time ever I will try this, no joke, because normally I don't like cheese, but here we have to try it, of course. It seems to be one of the best places to try it here at uh, Pasta in Corso. So let's dig in. Mm. Let's try it. Mm. Oh my god. The fresh pasta. Mm. With the cheese sauce and the pieces of bacon and the black pepper. Mm. So good. Oh my god. This is tasty. Yummy. A plus plus plus. <laughs> okay, it's finished. Yeah. Wow, amazing, it's right? Good, eh? Yeah. Very good. First time trying it and I'm loving it, so.